Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, so I was, I'm over here on a 95 Chevy Suburban and I've been trying to take apart the steering wheel. I have to replace the ignition, uh, the housing, see how it's all broken here and all that stuff. So I got to replace this guy, this whole block right here. And in order for me, well, that's really close. In order for me to replace all this, I got to get behind here. There's two bolts here, um, a bolt that was here and a bolt that was there. I took those out already, but then there's two bolts that are behind this guy here, uh, the clock spring and all that. So I got to take the clock spring out. Basically, I got to take off the whole steering wheel. I got this out, the airbag, right? So again, this is for a 95 Chevy Suburban. And I looked everywhere. I couldn't figure out how to take it out. I looked everywhere on the internet. Well, wherever I could find. Um, everything was like for a 2005 or they had a clip that you had to reach in with a screwdriver and push down and it releases a clip or uh, it had holes, the poke holes that go on the side of the steering wheel and then that releases it. None of those. For this one, it's specific. Okay, so this is specifically for a 95 Suburban. I don't know if there's any others that are the same thing. But anyways, this guy has, let me switch out the it has these guys here, these brackets, right? And you have this plate. God dang. Uh, sorry, I can't zoom out. My, my zoom out is, is pretty crappy. Anyways, this, uh, this back cover is like that usually. And then there's like a screw that goes into that hole right there. Right? And holding it all with one hand. So there's a screw from the back end that, that screws into here, holds this back cover in place. Then this little son of a bitch, this airbag thing has two prongs here i mean uh four prongs these guys those posts and they go into here right so they go here 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 um everything all the videos that i saw you come in from the back you release this or you twist it or you poke in through the sides and this and that and it goes off no so for this one if you ever look inside your steering wheel you take off this cover the the back cover you loosen it up and you're looking back here so you're like this and you see the parts if you ever see the post with these ball bearings okay all you what you have to do you don't even have to unscrew it i just found this out right you don't need to take off the cover because the cover does have individual holes um for these slots you see those holes in the back they have the individual holes for this slot so when it's mounted you get a full through uh, a through and through right so you can come in here with a little poke tool and you're gonna poke in like that, whoop, right? Poke in. And what you're doing is these ball bearings right here, right? These ball bearings here, they don't go in, right? Or you push it in and they go right here. So in order for you to do that, you gotta push in here and you push down, you push down. See what that happens? See these springs popped out. So if I do this, see that the those ball bearings hold in place. So, like, I was tugging the shit out of this thing, and uh, yeah, I didn't do anything, and so now I figured, and I just, I don't know why I pushed, I was like, there has to be something here. So, you push, see, same thing here, push, and push, and push, and then the whole thing just pfft, comes right out. Ain't that about a bitch, ain't it? Well, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful. If you're ever trying to find a 95 Suburban, how to remove the damn airbag, there you go. Oh, by the way, don't forget to unplug the battery. Helpful too. Ain't nothing worse than you're working on this shit right here. You're like this, and all of a sudden the airbag pops, and here you go fucking, ah! You know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys later.